The Doke VZ-4, also known as the Doke Model 16, was an experimental American Army convertiplane designed to explore the viability of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft using tilt duct technology. Developed in the 1950s by the Doke Aircraft Company of Torrance, California, the VZ-4 was a bold attempt to bridge the gap between helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. The United States Army became interested in vertical takeoff and landing aircraft after World War II, seeking platforms that could operate from small clearings or forward bases without runways. In 1950, Edmund Doak Jr., a former Lockheed engineer, founded Doak Aircraft with a focus on ducted fan propulsion. By 1954, the Army awarded Doak a contract to develop a single-seat vertical takeoff and landing testbed, what would become the VZ-4. The aircraft featured two wingtip-mounted ducted fans that could tilt vertically for takeoff and landing, then rotate forward for horizontal flight. A single Lycoming YT-53L1 turboshaft engine, located in the fuselage, powered both fans through a shaft and gearbox system. The fans were enclosed for safety, improved aerodynamics, and reduced ground noise. First tethered flight occurred in early 1958. Full transition flights began later that year at Edwards Air Force Base. The VZ-4 demonstrated stable hover, smooth transition between vertical and horizontal flight, and speeds up to 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour. However, the aircraft had limited payload and range, and maintenance complexity raised concerns. Despite its promising performance, the project was canceled in 1960 due to shifting military priorities, budget constraints, and growing confidence in helicopters like the UH-1 Huey. Only one prototype was built. After cancellation, the VZ-4 was stored and eventually transferred to the Smithsonian Institution. Today, the aircraft is preserved and displayed at the Stephen Ferenc Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia. Though it never entered production, the Doak VZ-4 helped lay the groundwork for future tiltrotor technology, influencing later designs like the Bell XV-3, XV-15, and ultimately the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. The VZ-4 remains a symbol of mid-20th century innovation, representing one of the first practical attempts to merge vertical takeoff and landing versatility with the speed of fixed-wing flight, a concept that continues to shape modern aviation.